When I was a music student in California, uh, I had the privilege of studying with a real rhythm guru from Puerto Rico, Senor Efren Toro. And uh, I, had a, I had a real cognitive uh, experience there in that I figured out that all modern music that, under, that underpins our, our lives, uh, the soundtrack of our, of our lives, in fact, um, is, is, uh, is based upon a rhythmical skeleton, which is the same across all cultures and regions. And this, this rhythm is there and it's in our DNA and it has deep significance. But for today and for our purposes now, I'm just going to use this, um, this two against three rhythm. It's a pulse of two and a pulse of three going on at the same time as, a, an, as an example of how we can repackage something that's fundamentally there already and create the illusion of something fresh and new and stand out and differentiate in a, in a densely populated space. So this rhythm sounds like this, pulse of three and a pulse of two going on at the same time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Right? So that's, so that's our skeleton groove. If we just tweak it and add some accents, some regional and cultural accents, we can come up with Afropop from Nigeria. Add, add some other twists and turns, and we get Kwaito from South Africa. Add some, some other flavor, we get rye music from North Africa. Uh, add, add something else, some other accents, we get indie pop, rock and roll. Um, mix in some macho bravado, show off a bit, and you've got salsa from Cuba. So the same core pulse, just tweaked and certain accents amplified, creates the illusion of a whole bunch of new things.